Hi, you're watching Flight Steinberg's YouTube channel. Today, let's take a look at the sequencer in the Roland JD-08. Depending on what you want to achieve, this sequencer might be more powerful than you think. If you're interested, please join me in this video. So, this is the Roland JD-08, based on the classic 90s JD-800, 128 voices of polyphony by Timbro, which means it can play two different sounds at once, which is reflected in its two-track sequencer that can use up to 64 steps per sequence. Let's begin by choosing a storage slot for a sequence. Push and hold the start key and then turn the encoder here until you've reached an empty slot, in my case number 37. Now let's choose two patches for two tracks. I'm on the first part here and I've prepared a sound on bank B slot 56. You can switch through those banks by pressing these keys multiple times. Press the note button on the left and you can use the 16 step buttons keyboard for playing notes. And now let's select the second patch, press the common button and then select the part and press down the encoder. Select B and push down the encoder once again and then press exit. I've prepared this sound on B57, which is some kind of filtered pad, and it sounds like this. Okay, and now let's store our sound selection, and for that um, just hold down the start button, then turn the encoder until you've reached an empty slot where you can store your sequence, and then hold down the last digit of uh, the sequence slot until the display blinks like this and then you've saved your sequence and your sound selection. And now let's continue. So we've set up a sequence and now let's record one. First uh, we'll use the step sequencer, push common and effects to access the sequencer and then choose a suitable tempo by turning the encoder and I'll use 80 beats per minute here. I also changed the default length of 16 steps in the sequence to a more useful 64 steps. Press the common button, then turn the encoder right until you've reached sequence length Push the encoder and turn it right until the display reads 64. Now press exit sometimes until the BPM get displayed again. Press the note button so it's not lighting up and then hold down the first step key until the display reads step 1. Now press note again and you can play a note that will then be played on this step. Or you can use an external MIDI keyboard which has the benefit of also capturing velocity. Now just turn the encoder to cycle to all the steps of your sequence and enter notes as you like. And of course, you can also play multiple notes per step, reflecting the high polyphony of this instrument. Okay, now let's press exit and then start to listen what we've created here. the step sequencer. I'm going to record a second track in real time. Exit the sequencer, press common and select part B. Press exit and turn on the sequencer again by pushing the common and the effect button simultaneously. What you need to know now is that every track has its own length. Track B at the moment is 16 steps long, so let's change that. Press common sequence length and increase the number of steps to 64 and then return. Now you can turn on the keyboard to listen to your patch. And now push note and start simultaneously to start recording like this. Now 
When using real-time recording, you can also record automation. Uh, that's the movement of all the user interface controls. And I'll show you that by moving the filter envelope slider here while recording. Next, I'll copy this sequence into another sequence so I can play other notes on the bass line. Press common and effects to go to the sequencer, press common once more and then turn the encoder until the screen reads copy. Push the encoder, then hold start and turn the encoder until you've reached the sequence you want to copy to, and then make sure you're in the correct part or track by leaving the sequencer, pressing common and then part. Then return to the sequencer, press common once again, and scroll to the paste function and then push down the encoder. And finally, save the sequence by holding start and the number key until the screen flashes. And now you can switch sequences while playing by holding start and turning the knob, and the synthesizer will play the current measure to the end before switching. You can also adjust the swing value of your sequence, reverse it, or fill it with random notes. Here's a short demo. you're not tired of this random melody yet, here's a short jam using the Arturia Microfeek Vulcanize sent me. In case you're wondering, the JDO8 has 5-pin MIDI in and out ports and also controlled voltage sockets for controlling external gear. Also, you can set up the MIDI channels the tracks will send on. Oh, by the way, if you like content like this, and if you want to see more on the JDR8 in the future, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want to support what I'm doing here financially, you can become one of my patrons over on Patreon, or become a channel member using the button below this video. Thank you very much.
Yeah, and that's it for today. The sequencer in the Roland JD-08. If you found this interesting or useful, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching. And see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.